this little book called the Tao Te Ching contains the principles of Taoism written in a very beautiful and poetic form. It was written two and a half millennia ago by the great Taoist sage Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu is often depicted astride an ox. For many years a librarian at the court of a minor ruler, he grew tired of worldly ways and rode off on his ox to the wilderness. Before leaving, he wrote the Tao Te Ching, epitomizing his philosophy in just 5,000 Chinese characters. It has inspired countless Chinese throughout the ages to leave the cities and live as recluses in small communities inhabiting mountain hermitages surrounded by rocks and trees with the sound of running water forever in their ears. <coughs> This is a yin-yang symbol. Lao Tzu and his followers based their philosophy firmly on the doctrine it represents. The Tao operates through the interaction of the polar forces yin and yang. Yin, dark in color, represents receptivity, passivity, female, etc. Yang, light in color, represents creativity, dynamism, male, etc. As these cannot act in isolation, a seed of yang is shown in yin and vice versa. These are not opposites, but complementary aspects of the Tao. In an ultimate sense, they are one with each other. Their interplay brings forth all the shifting phenomena which constitute our universe. <laughs> <laughs>